guys, here I'm Dallas. Just got to the airport. Went through security. It's kind of long, but I did it. So I took a little bit of a break from this whole vlogging thing for a while. Only like two days. But just to get a little refresh, to clear up my phone, because I do 90% of all recording and editing on my phone. And I wanted to save some room to get ready for this trip so I can vlog the entire thing. So it's going to be extremely cool. So I'm going to Europe. So I'm currently here at the airport trying to find something to eat. I'm absolutely starving. Speaking of starving, am I really going to Europe? Like dead smack in the middle of my cut? Yes, I am. Yes. Yes, I am. I know. Every time I tell people this, they're like, yeah, you're definitely not going to last. You're going to eat so much shit. You're going you're gonna to come back like 10 pounds heavier. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I will. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, to be honest, I'm super dedicated to this cut. Like when I first started uh, 15, 12 days ago, I promised yeah. myself that I wasn't going to let anyone or anything get in my way of achieving the results that I want to achieve because I have huge goals for myself in 2017 and if I'm going to let one vacation like hinder those results then that just tells me how bad I truly want my my goals right and that goes for anything in life like you truly want something you're going to do whatever it takes to achieve it so I'm here at the airport I kind of kind of want a beer St. Patrick's Day so I may go grab a Guinness and maybe like some some chicken and some rice to kind of, you know, hold me over until I get on the plane and get to Europe. Because it's like a seven and a half hour flight or so. And I still got like an hour and a half until I actually get on the plane. So I'm gonna find some meat. All right, so for the last like five minutes, I've been walking around for a, an open bar to just get like a Guinness or something. But I guess this wasn't meant to be because every bar I went to, like the bars are full. <sighs> so my flight, like starts boarding in the next 30 minutes so i may just wait till i get on the plane and i don't know buy something on the plane or get something to eat on the plane or just not eat at all i don't know i'm so i'm so confused i don't know what to do <laughs> i'm just kidding but all in all i've never been to dallas before and it's a huge airport so i'm just walking around been exploring it seeing the type of stores that they have and kind of took this epic picture uh with my phone and the airport's kind of dope. I think I'm gonna post it in here right now. Other than that, I think I'm just keep walking around, keep seeing what Dallas Airport has to offer, and then uh, yeah, see you guys on the next clip. So I finally landed in London, uh, looking for my connecting flight. So I'm flying from London to Frankfurt. So my first meal of the day was on the plane. I had like this pasta dish with uh, like this chocolate mousse and some, uh, some bread, some butter, macros out the water so far. So I'm going to take today, refresh, find something good to eat once I fucking find my gate. But until I find my gate, I'm not going to really eat my real first meal yet. So gate first, then meal, macros, restarted right now. All right, so I'm here at Starbucks. I'm gonna grab a focus. An ultimate all day breakfast salsa sandwich. Looks pretty good. Macros on it are decent. 31 grams of protein, four grams of fiber, 38 carb, and 21 fat. So I'm gonna eat this up. I really want this. I really wanna eat that, but I'm not. So I'm gonna grab the sandwich and probably some vanilla iced coffee. Uh. 
All right, guys, so after 10 long hours, I'm finally here in Germany, man. So I'm here at Frankfurt International Import. Import. Frankfurt International Airport. Just grabbed my rental car because I still have a little ways to go. So the town I have to go to is a good two and a half hours away. So went to Hertz, got me a rental car. It's going to be a fun little drive, but excited to be here, and I'm lost. <laughs> All right, there she is. <laughs> Ford Focus. Let's go. They gon' catch me riding dirty. Hey, Germany be cranking. All right, guys, so I'm finally inside the rental car. And to be honest, so everything is in German. You know, I could read, understand a tiny bit, but it took me forever to set up the GPS to get to where I need to go. So I'm finally on the road, finally on the road. So this is not my first time driving alone in Germany, but for me, it's still nerve wracking because way people drive here is so not like in the US like people drive super fast here like you have old ladies and old people like passing you up because you're driving too slow all in all you know everything's been a great experience so far you know everyone's been super kind to me so if you've ever been curious about traveling to a different country and you've been worried about how they treat you know Americans it's nothing but love man it's, it's, it's been nothing but love so far so this is actually my third time here, so all all the uh, first two times, nothing but love. But I'm going to go focus on this road without I, you know, press record and give you guys a quick update. Actually, so I'm about two hours, hour and a half away from where I need to be. So I'm about to sit back, enjoy the ride, listen to music, and let's get it. I'm here. Say hello. Hello. Isaiah, say hi. There you go. What's up? It's my two Ooh. little ones. Was... What's up? <laughs> it's a long journey, but I made What's it. What's up? I made it. Up, up. 